hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great it's saturday 27th of april 2024 and it's time for our wait for today and except from ucb island so our topic today says but before that how is your day going how are you doing my darling i pray for your healing and i pray that things work out for you all right my darling so it's time for our wait for today and our bible reading is taken from the book of romans 12 verse 10 and our topic today says don't be so controlling you heard me right don't be so controlling this comes with an exclamation mark okay let's continue our bible reading let's read romans 12 verse 10 it says be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor preferring one another praise the lord hallelujah okay do you get upset when you cannot control others or moody and irritated when people don't do what you want do you react when your mistakes are pointed out or try to force people to comply with your demands do you exaggerate your pain sickness or need in order to gain attention or sympathy or criticize the opinions and choices of others and position yourself as a superior do you become angry and abusive when someone disagrees with you or challenges your authority are you reluctant to compliment others but quick to try and fix something you think is wrong in them do you find it hard to say i need you do you try to drive a wedge between your loved ones and anyone else who gets close to them? Do you give orders to those you interact with rather than using the simple courtesies of please and thank you? If your answer to these questions is yes, then the word for today is for you. Don't be so controlling. The Bible says, be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor giving preference to one another. That means stopping to consider how your behavior affects other people. You say, but I just happen to have a strong personality. Sorry, that doesn't let you off the hook. A servant of the Lord must be gentle to all. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24. So if you are a controller, start changing your ways. And if you're being controlled because you fear anger and rejection, it's time to draw a line in the sand. Seek help from a trusted friend, church leader, or healthcare professional, especially if you feel at risk. Ask God to help you stand firm and refuse to be controlled any longer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think this message is for all of us. Because one thing I understand, I see is this, especially my sister do tell me this. See, people do have this feeling of importance. They want everything to be their way. They want to be controlling. They want everybody on top. You know, they want everybody under their feet. If Jesus were to be controlling, do you think we're going to have something to refer to today? Do you think we're going to be talking about his goodness, how kind he was? to his disciples, to his apostles? What is this controlling all about? What are you controlling really? What is it that you're really controlling? Why, what, why do you think you're better than any other person? Okay? You get upset because you can't control other people or you're moody or irritated because things don't go your own way. Who are you? God that even created you did not even feel that way. How much more you that is decorated? What is so, so fussy or what is this so important about you that you have to neglect and look down on other people? God is warning you if you're one of them. God, this is a warning to all of us. We should just calm down. Take things easy. See, in this world, I keep saying this, we came alone in this world. We live alone. We live empty-handed because we didn't come with anything. The most important life we have to live is a life of kindness, okay? Showing kindness, affection to one another, being there for one another. You see people, siblings, families fighting, controlling, oh, you, I, am the, I am the boss here. 
a lot of things are happening even between friends okay you're trying to control you're trying to be the boss everywhere things must not even work out the way you want give other people chance all right so you don't just give order be kind to people okay don't let your character affect other people negatively take it easy think take a moment think okay consider relieve yourself of the bad characters consider what if the way you're acting to other people you are being treated that way how would you feel i think a word is enough for the wise guys remember our topic don't be so controlling jesus didn't do that and that is not what god has told us to do okay yes my darling i know it's this topic feels like it's very personal to someone there but it's also a reminder that we should be kind to people and stop being controlling and bully people all right yes my darling i want to thank you so much for listening and don't forget that this is an excerpt from ucb island and we are reading the bible for the whole year can refer back to my previous videos just down the description i'm going to see all the chapters we've read but for today we are reading first samuel chapter 15 chapter 16 and john chapter 11 from verse 30 to 57 thank you again for listening you know i love you but god loves you most see you in my next video and don't forget to share don't be so controlling okay i love you bye bye